This is Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15 IGL G05 model. It comes with built in 4 gig RAM only and SSD M.2. Very poor in condition and Windows won't corrupt it. So, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall either Windows 10 or Windows 11 in UEFI. So, first thing that you need to do to have a correct UEFI bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive to load up the Windows. Second one, you should have one of the SIM ejector tool or any sort of paper clip. Why? Because Lenovo, especially IdeaPad, doesn't have any functional key from F1 to F12 to get into BIOS, like HP, rather Dell. None of them, okay? So, what you need to do, we need to find a special button which is called knob button and what you're going to do we're going to find it normally it's located either on the plumb rest or on the right or left for this model which is IdeaPad 3 is going to be on the right hand side there is a little hole in there okay so what it is behind the hole there is a hidden button which is called knob button so first things let's connect uh, the USB stick sorry for the background noise shut it down so it's completely shut it down make sure the charger is connected it's good to have and then on the right hand side we're gonna click it while it's switched off so as you can see there is a hole once you do that you're gonna see there is a light and something would pop up on the screen this is called Nova button menu which says normal boot BIOS boot menu system recovery so we're gonna get into BIOS which is second one we're going to press enter once you do that straight away it's going to come up with this uh, ordinary bios page as you can see here and now from here we need to change a couple of settings okay but most of the time by default it comes in uefi setting in case if it doesn't that's why i'm going to show you so first things we need to turn on the secure boot boot type uefi that's all we need to do so we're going to get into right hand side by pressing the right arrow which is that one so we are in the config section in here there is nothing to do as you can see all related not to um, UEFI or something then let's go to security by pressing the right arrow again you're in here now as you can see here it says secure boot go down make sure that is enabled which is enabled but just to make sure hit enter again that's all fine secure boot mode standard which is okay now we're going to get into boot by pressing the right arrow again and as you can see the boot mode is here uefi now there is another option called legacy if you want to get legacy boot time then you need to turn off the secure boot which we turned on okay and then you need to select that one because if we left the secure boot on means uefi so one more time secure boot enable uefi enable Secure boot disable means UEFI disable. Okay, so that's all fine. And also here is the boot, couple of them. We can manually choose the temporary boot or we can put this one as a fast priority. The problem is if you put my USB, which is that one, USB device, which is connected here. If you choose it as a fast boot, what would happen? Every time when Windows setup finalized, it's going to restart, keep restarting and goes back to the same point. So you're going to leave it as it is. In case if you want to change it, if you want to put it top of the list, you need to press F6 to go up. If it doesn't work, let's see F6. You see? So let's go down again. F6 again, it goes up and down. It flips, okay? So it's all fine. We're going to leave it as it is. Save it by pressing F10 which is that one, hit enter, and now it's going to reload. So what are you going to do? We're going to interrupt it by pressing down. Why? Because we don't want the normal boot. Instead, we're going to repeat the same thing again. Press the noble button with the t stick. And then we're going to go down this time, boot menu, hit enter. Now, as you can see here, manually, we're going to choose from here the USB installer and hit enter. Now it's going to load up from the USB. 
So from here, we're going to choose next. Install now. We're going to accept the terms and condition and hit next. Just to do fresh installation, we're going to choose the bottom option because we are not doing upgrading. We are doing clean installation. Click here. Now here is all the partitions. What would happen is if you delete anything, we're going to lose all the data and stuff. So. All right. So before we delete anything, make sure you back up your data. If you don't have any important data, you are good to delete it. So I'm going to do that. Second one as well, all of them. I'm going to go next. Now it's going to load up. So let's uh, get this one up to 100%, and there would be couple of finalization like restarting choosing the option so we're going to hold the video until it gets to the 100 percent At this point, this is finalizing the setup. It might take a couple of minutes, could be longer. It depends on how fast is your system. Because this one does have only four gig RAM, which is really poor and it's taking longer than as usual. So around three to four minutes. Now we need to update the drivers and everything is fine. So if you do like this video, please thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.